welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a recreation of one of Ben and Jerry's new flavors. This is the cookie dough core. It is the rain dough. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. The rain dough version. So this is a vanilla cookie dough core with multicolored chocolate chips in a vanilla base. That's one of their new flavors. They do a chocolate one as well, but for this one, we're just going to do the vanilla one. I say just because I haven't actually done any of this beforehand. I've not made the cookie dough before. I've not done the chocolate treatment before. So what you're going to see is the good, bad and ugly version of someone that's never done it. So hope you enjoy this video. Let's get stuck in and do it. The base is a very simple Philly style ice cream. So put your milk, cream and sugar into a pan and then slowly heat it up. Then add your vanilla before it gets too hot. Just let that sugar dissolve and then take it off the heat and put it in the fridge to chill. Leave it in there for three or four hours, something like that. Next, we're gonna go onto the cookie dough. Take your butter that in my case was still way too hard, add your sugar to it and then whisk it and make sure that it goes all over the kitchen. If you use butter that's actually soft enough, then make sure it's combined really nicely like you can see here. At that stage, you can start adding your other ingredients. So there's a splash of salt in there, and then you need to add your sprinkles and your flour. Now for this cookie dough, you need to make sure you use heat treated flour. Now I did mine in the microwave, so I'll put a link below as to where I got those instructions. It's really quick and simple, but you can also do it in the oven if you like. Once you've added all your sprinkles, what I've done is I've taken a tube and filled that with the cookie dough, as you can see here. This is an absolute experiment. No idea if this is gonna work or not, so we'll soon see. I'm also gonna make an alternative core. This one's not being kept in the fridge or the freezer or anything, but I'm just gonna wrap it up in some cling film just in case the tube idea doesn't work. The next stage is to try and create those multicolored, I mean, I'm not gonna do the multicolored, but the colored chocolate drops. Now, if you look on the actual tub for the Ben & Jerry's, it doesn't say chocolate, it says chocolate flavor. So what we've got is, we've got the deck melts here, we're gonna melt them in a microwave so you can get that nice loose consistency. And I've put a baking pan covered in foil in the freezer. Now I've done this just so I can dab the chocolate on there and hopefully it will go hard very quick. As you can see, it works okay with a spoon, but if you use a piping bag, it does make life much easier. Halfway through, I actually had to put it all back in the freezer. And then once completed, again, back in the freezer for just five, 10 minutes, and then scrape it all off, put it in the tub, put it aside. Once you've done all that, pour yourself a drink because you've probably made a massive mess in the kitchen like I have, and there's at least an hour's worth of tidying up to do. As you can tell by this video, like I said, I've never done this before. It turned out okay. I don't know what the cookie dough is gonna be like. I don't know whether it's gonna come out of the tube. Uh, who knows? We're gonna get around to that in a second. Fingers crossed. As always, we're gonna take the base out of the fridge 20 minutes before we want to churn it. And we're gonna add in our milk powder. Again, two tablespoons, and then pop it back in the fridge for 20 minutes. Finally, take it out again, give it a good stir, and then pop it in your machine to churn. So take about 20 minutes as normal, something like that. I like to pre-cool my machine for 10 minutes, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You want your ice creams fully chained and ready to go, load up your tub. Now I've lined the tub with cling film again because I want to do a cross-section cut. I don't want to destroy the tub because I love my wife's designs. So that's what we're going to do. Load in your ice cream, add your chocolate chips. Looking at the Ben & Jerry's version, I've not had it, I can't get hold of it yet. The chocolate chips are sided, so one side's one color, one side's the other. So that's what we're gonna try and attempt here. Right, it's been seven hours, something like that, in the freezer. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. I'm gonna try and cut it down the middle, give you a bit of a cross section so we can see the core. There you go. <laughs> I'm quite surprised at the result, actually. I've never really done anything with cookie dough. I'm not a massive fan of cookie dough. My wife loves it, so she'll end up eating most of this tub, I'm sure. But okay, you know, look, looking at the Ben and Jerry's pictures, they're little chocolate drops. They're two different multicolored swirls. I haven't done that. I'd probably fail worse than I have just doing these single color ones, but, but that core, that 
that's bang on the money that is you, you can see the little rainbow sprinkles in there the vanilla ice cream is really good i guarantee you that ben and joe's vanilla ice cream is, is not going to be like this it's uh, a very luxurious vanilla ice cream the vanilla bean paste in that gives you a really intense vanilla flavor the chocolate I mean, it, you know, I call it chocolate in the loosest possible sense. It's, it's kind of like chocolate flavored, flavored. You don't taste anything. It, it literally tastes of nothing. But that's not the point of these. The point of those is to add a splash of color, which you get. And the actual cookie dough itself, it's not gone rock solid, which is great. You can, you know, you can dig right in and, and get some bits out, but uh, is this a, a success? I think it is. I think we've done really, really well to recreate this core. If you ever bought a Ben & Jerry's core version of ice cream, you're usually a little bit disappointed, let's be honest. When you dig in, especially with the caramel ones, when you dig in, there's basically nothing in there. At least if you do this yourself, you can dictate how much of that core ingredient you put in. So give this one a try. If you do, send us a picture let us know how it goes because we can't get this flavor over here yet grab it if you can get it where you are if you fancy doing a cross section of it then you know feel free but don't ruin your tub just because of it but i'd love to see what the actual inside of a ben and jerry's version looks like be interesting to compare the two anyway thanks very much for watching this next video is gonna be another vegan one I'm gonna get a little bit fancy on that one though so uh hope you join us for that one remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time thanks very much for watching